They are sprinting away, and Preamble Fly jumped when the starter said go. Wally Cadell's one of the trailers. Step to Fame is running early. On the outside, Threshold Highland Fling is right there. Burwood is out the rail with the white cap. Yellowmere on the outside, then Risky Roscoe, the black sleeves and cap. Preamble has the yellow sleeves, then Charlie Trimble, followed by his approval. Further back in the field is Glorious Moment, and they stretched out about 13, 14 lanes. And it's step to fame making the running. Three shoulders right there. Burwood's out the rail, only a length and a half off them. Highland Fling is back forth. Yellowmere's in the red. Risky Roscoe's on the outside, then his approval. Further back in the run is Charlie Trimble as they turn for him, then Preamble. And it's step to fame by a length or so. Burwood is going to try and put in a claim now. Behind that one there is Threshold. Down the inside, Risky Roscoe and Charlie Trimble's also trying to get into the race. It's step to fame and Burwood. These are the two. And running on is Risky Roscoe. Risky Roscoe is coming home powerfully at Burwood. Burwood just the leader over the last 50 though. And Burwood has won it. Risky Roscoe second. Step to fame ran third, then Charlie Trimble. Number five, Burwood at two ran 20, and the toad favorite is Victorious. And Burwood continues to plug away the going by Overlord. Fourth win from 21. Another one for Robin and Colin Scott. Well done. A length and a quarter. Risky Roscoe stays on nicely for second. Step to fame or running to third. Fourth to Charlie Trimble. Further back is his approval. They are followed by Delamere, then Threshold, Glorious Moment, Highland Fling, and Preamble. As we look at the head on, red cap of Step to Fame, Burwoods with the white cap, they're on the right hand side, and then the cheek pieces of Risky Roscoe staying on, but Burwood comes into the lead. Charlie Trimble in the yellow is also staying on, but it's victory for Burwood. This is the fourth career win, as I say, of Burwood, also bred by the Scott brothers, and Burwood wins it well. Until the running of race four, back to the studio. seen the running of the first leg of the pick six that's gravel race three that was over 1200 meters and the favorite number five Burwood is duly obliged here and Anton Marcus for Colin Scott giving the stable and the combination a quick double and it was drawn one and was up at the speed top ride and Colin uh, again well turned out yeah just a top ride big thanks to Anton and well done to Robbie and Robin and Joyce Scott uh, they bred it and they partnership with Robbie and yeah, listen, I'm still not quite sure whether he gets the 12. You know, it was a great ride from Anton. He held him up and, and, and we won. I mean, I had a few question marks. I've only been over the 1200 trip once. And when it was, you know, right up with the speed, I thought, you know, is, is it going to get the, the last 100, last 200 meters? But it did. Yeah, listen, I think he was looking to call it a day. But uh, Anton held him up, held him up. And he, he got his nose in front when it counted. Right, and that's 21 runs now, and uh, it's a four-time winner, and it doesn't seem to be stopping out. You could uh, have a few more in the tank. Yeah, listen, he's been an honest little horse, and I think there's still a few more in the tank. We'll have a bit of fun with him. All right, now, Colin, you, we might see you back for one more. <laughs> Let's hope so. It's been a nice day. Thanks. Oh, great stuff. Cheers. Let's uh, get Anton Marcus in here. Anton, I must commend you top right. Uh, step to fame went out, set the pace. You, you really held it up nicely in behind that, and when you asked for it, really quick and well. Yes, look, he had a lot in his favour tonight, you know, considering he was going the six. Um, you know, sometimes a good marble doesn't always work on, in your favour, you know. You end up being closer than what you want to by default. But anyway, be that as it may, uh, he lasted long enough. Big thank you to Colin and Ace and his team. And uh, not forgetting MJ, who's on the road to recovery. And then definitely be better over a thousand. Colin said he didn't think you were going to last that final hundred, but dug down deep. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he, he wasn't a happy camper the last bit, you know, but in fairness, maybe... <clears throat> you know, maybe because of the good gate, I probably had him a touch closer than what, than what he should have been. Right, and then Anton, you've got a bold inspiration later. Obviously, it's touted as a, as a top individual. It's got some uh, future races lined up. What's your expectations? He's doing very well at home. Um, I thought the handicapper might have been a, a touch harsher than for his last win. It was a, was a bit of a soft win. You know, he had things his own way. Zhivago never got... Uh, Never got the hardest ride in second. I felt that he could have finished a lot closer. I'm not looking for excuses because we do rate him highly. But he's, he's lumping the pudding tonight. You know, you've got to respect it. At the end of the day, it is a handicap. 
So, you know, you've got to respect that. For sure. But great ride, Anton. Commend you on that ride. And uh, we'll maybe see you back later. Keep it up. Fingers crossed. Thank you. Thanks so much. There we've seen the first leg of the pick six. Uh, Gravel race three over 1,200 meters. That's gone the way of number five, Burwood, giving Colin Scott and uh, Anton Marcus a quick team-up double. It was drawn one and really uh, did ask for the line, the final 100, but got it a six-year-old son by Overlord, bred by the Scott brothers. That was race three. We'll see you back for the first leg of the jackpot.